Karina. Hey. I am so impressed to see you searching the scriptures, digging deep. Oh my God, your devotion and determination, it is impressive. I'm so proud of you, girl. <laughs> Thanks, Sister Betty. The Bible tells us in 2 Timothy 2.15 to study to show ourselves approved unto God, a workman that does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of the truth. David also said in Psalms 119 verse 11 that he has hidden God's word in his heart so that he will not sin against God. Exactly. Sister Rita, it is the truth of God that you know that can and will set you free. Sister Rita, I am so impressed. What chapter are you on now? Can you share with me some of the things you have learned anything that jumped at you i have been studying the book of timothy and i'm stuck on second timothy 3 1 through 5 which says there will be terrible times in the last days people will be lovers of themselves lovers of money boastful proud abusive disobedient to their parents ungrateful unholy without love unforgiving slanderous without self-control brutal not lovers of good and treacherous rash conceited lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of god and having forms of godliness but denying its power have nothing to do with such people that is very deep sister rita is there anything in those scriptures that minister to you I'm a little bit perplexed that the Bible says there will come a time where people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, and the list goes on, like I said before, but how can this be? How? Sister Rita, I can totally understand how those verses can be disturbing to you, but I often take comfort in verse 9 of this same 2 Timothy 3 that says, that they will not get very far for their meaningless nonsense and ignorance will become obvious to all. Sister Betty, what does that mean? That they will not get very far and that their meaningless nonsense will become obvious to everyone? Sister Rita, the Bible tells us in Psalms 148 that God opens the eyes of the blind. I think it means that God will open the spiritual eyes of his people to the meaningless nonsense. As far as specifics, let us leave it to the imagination of God's people. Say something! Why, why are you saying you Why is that a script? Thank <laughs> you.